Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode of TZ Teaches. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and in this video, we're going to be covering the mesh modeling tool, Bevel. Now, the Bevel tool can be accessed by hitting Control B when you've got an edge or even a face selected. And when you do that, uh, essentially because a face is just all the edges combined together, it's going to bevel those edges. And so it's going to work pretty much like you would think of a beveler if you were using woodworking. Uh, now we do have some options here and the bevel operator panel is really the best thing uh, ever for adjusting these. So we can increase the number of segments here. So before we had just one flat segment, uh, but now we can have four segments or five or basically I think it goes up to eight uh, new beveled segments that we can add in. We can adjust the amount here and the bevel amount um, can go down back down to zero where we just add a bunch of faces onto each other or we can take that all the way up uh, to one. Now if we bevel that much you know then it's going to create a nice collected um, bevel here up at the top but that's not always the case so what we might actually want if we undo that and just grab these two edges here and we hit control B or you can have the bevel tool active um, again you can pull it up with the space bar space bar will bring up the options here bevel and just click and drag and we can take it too far now with this bevel it's not beveling all the way it's beveling through each other and so what you can actually do is you can say you know what I want to clamp that overlap and so what it's going to do is it's going to say okay I'm going to bevel until I hit another vertex and as soon as I hit another vertex I'm gonna stop so that's what the clamp overlap does we can also take this amount back down and you know reset that ourselves now let's talk about the profile here. So I'm going to push put in uh, four segments and we'll talk about the profile. Now by default it's set to 0.5 and uh, 0.5 kind of gives you this rounded shape here. But if you were to take this closer to one, you'll notice it starts getting a little more uh, jagged all the way up to one where we go back to our original edge. Or we can take this in the opposite direction past 0.5 and go towards zero and we'll get an inverted copy of that edge. And so between 0 to 0.5, we get a rounded inset curve. Uh, from 0.5 to 1, we are getting less of a curved edge as we go up all the way back to the original edge. So that's pretty cool there that you can play around with with the profile. Uh, we can also make these bevel marks only occur on the particular vertex by just checking the vertex only box here. And that's just going to bevel in that vertex and that vertex only, or at least the vertices that have been selected and only those. But again, you can increase the amount, um, clamp overlap, you can, or it'll take it up to one. Um, but if you were to hit in two there, you can, you can take that further unless you click the clamp overlap option there where it will stop. We have the loop slide, which will prefer to slide along the edge to even widths of the bevel. I haven't really noticed that when it's checked on or checked off. So it does a little bit of difference, but you really don't notice it that much from my experience. Uh, we also have an option here to mark seams. Now this is still in beta at this time. And so this is option is not working. Uh, if we were able to see the seams and we should be able to see them, um, according to our overlay. Yes, we should be able to see them uh, right here. Because we cannot see these in uh, in there, we can just assume it's not working yet, but it will be added. So that's a nice little thing. You also have the ability to mark sharp. Now, if we had different materials selected, we could add the material color to that beveled edge. So that's kind of cool. You can also harden out the normals, uh, which you can see changes the effect a little bit. Um, if we were to shade that smooth, you can still see that edge kind of looks a little hard and we'll shade flat. So that's just hardened out the normals. Let's actually see what that does. So we'll go back into edit mode and bring up the normals option, face normals, just so we can see that. So if we select everything, um, or I guess let's undo, take us back there and uh, make sure that we are still seeing the normals. We are, so we'll bevel a little bit, vertex only, and then uh, increase the segments here and let's see what happens to those normals when we say harden them 
nothing. It's really just shading. All right, and that's basically the bevel tool. It's a really useful tool. Um, you can bevel edges now just like that particular edge. You can take it, clamp the overlap. It's fine. Change the profile. Sometimes these things don't necessarily work that much, especially if they're already stuck together. That's the bevel tool. It's pretty awesome. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and I will see you in the next video.